is our focus today is on gradient. And another way I want us to think about gradient is slope. So a slope of a line. Now for us to be thinking about slope, I just want us to go back to the very basics and just look at an equation. So we are going to look at different x values and plug in their y value and then we're going to graph it and look at what a gradient is. So the first thing I think about here is I'm just going to look at my x for 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way through to 7. Now, if x is 1, I'm just going 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. If x is 2, I'm going 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. If x is 3, I'm going 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 equals 7. Same here, four to, uh, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9, and I can keep on going. This will be 11, 13, and 15. Now, as we are graphing this, I'm just going to pick two points and graph it. It says x is 1 and y is 3. Next one, it says x is 7 and y is 15. Which is right here. Now I pick these two points because I really just want to be able to look at the gradient of our line. Now in this case here, we always refer to the gradient as the rise over the run. So rise is divided by run. So let's look at that. I'm just going to pick any point. Now if I go, I can go down to and across one. So this is where we think this about this part here is called the rise. This part here is called the run. For every time it goes one over, it goes up two. So that's where here, when we I've got y equals two x plus one, the rise is two, but I need to think about it if it's a whole, it's 2 over 1, because 2 divided by 1 is 2. Let's have a look at our next one. I'm going to do my table for y equals 4x. So again, I'm just going to look at x values of 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. I'll stop there. So when x is 1, 4 times 1 is 4. When x is 2, 4 times 2 is 8. When x is 3, 4 times 3 is 12. So this will be 16 and 20. Next, I'm just going to pick two other points again. So I know when x is 1, y is 4. And I know when x is 5, y is 20. And I'm just going to graph our line. Now, one thing I know here is that we are again going to look at our slope. And that is, how far has it gone down to then go across? So, here I've got a run that's going across 1. And it's going up 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is where I'm doing rise 4 divided by 1, which is 4. So even though it says here um, my gradient's 4, that means that I've got 4 over 1. Finally, I'm going to look at my next equation, which is y equals 2 thirds x. And I purposely picked a fraction here because I want us to go in a bit more detail. So again, I'm going to see this as out of three. To make it easier with graphing, I'm just going to pick the multiples of three. So zero, three, six, nine, 
12, 15, and 18, just to make my life easier. So if I go 0 times 2 thirds, it has to be 0. If I go 3 times 2 thirds, well, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 divided by 3 is 2. Then I've got 6 times 2 is 12, 12 divided by 3 is 4. Then my x is being 9. So 9 times 2 is 18. 18 divided by 3 is 6. Likewise, when x is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. 24 divided by 3 is 8. And I'll stop there. Let's try to we can see the pattern. 2, 4, 6, 8. This must be 10 and this must be 12. Let's graph it now. I'll graph it in purple. So I'm going to pick two points when x is 0, y is 0, and then when x is 18, y is 12. So I'm just going to graph this line again. And this shows me right here that with this line, I have, I'll change color. If I look at where it crosses, it, I go, uh, I'm going across three. So the run is three and I'm going up two. So that gives me a run and my rise. And that's the same as what I've got here. My rise is two, my run is three. So it's two over three.